Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Duel Masters, Shadow of the Code. I was told, you know, if I was going to mess with Duel Masters, this would be the game to mess with. Simply because it has the most available cards, though I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. It's just because there's more options doesn't mean the game's better. Sometimes that, you know, is a bit of a conundrum, but sometimes having access to a lot of cards means nothing. If the cards you have access to, you know, are rather shitty, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't want to be named Tom, though I wish I could choose my gender, gosh darn it. I mean, come on, game. That's so lame. Um, I guess we'll just set it to easy, because screw it. And I guess I'll try and build my own deck and see how much I manage to screw it up. Uh, I guess we'll go to fire. And you look at their stats, I gotta press the select button, which is a bit annoying. If you wanna read the card's details, you know. Um, I want some low-level creatures, obviously I can play quickly. Except that one, that one takes away one of your mana cards, so screw it, that's terrible. This is a spell that ups your power, so I'll take it. Um, hold on, Hacker's Dial Zone, your creature's gonna attack it this turn, so it's tapped. Yeah, that's not that great ability, in my opinion. Um, not the worst thing ever. Um, not bad. You know, I have to attack every turn, but you know, I'll take it. Let's see. We have at least one armor in the battle zone. This creature gets plus 2,000 power during its attack phase, yeah. Um, yeah, that's not really what I'm looking for. Yeah, I like having the option to attack relatively quickly sometimes. Okay, what we got here? Ah, uh, and double breaker, so... We can break two shields for the cost of one, why not? Yeah, I know, I'm just building a deck of, you know, terrible ideas here. Yeah, I don't like that idea. I want to keep mana, not lose it. So destroy one of your creatures, then your opponent chooses one of his creatures and destroys it. That could be alright. Depending on what I'm giving up versus them, I suppose. Well, no. So a massive attack boost while attacking. Why not? Let's see what you do. Ah, so if it gets triggered as a shield, I can just instantly destroy about any monster I'm likely to see early on in a match. What do you do? We call on your opponent's mazel and put into his graveyard. Ah. That's not a bad ability. It's too bad it's a very high cost card, so you're not likely to see me play it too often. You destroy each player, chooses two cards in his mazel and puts them into his graveyard. Um, that seems to be just as helpful to you as the opponent, so kinda useless. Yeah, not the best. Plus, you know, I'm mean, gonna probably have a lot of weak monsters in here, so... That's not a good option. Okay, so I guess more power for tap creatures in the battle zone. Gosh darn it. I bought too many expensive cards, didn't I? Um, jeez. They don't give you a lot of room to buy stuff, do they? Um, let's see. Why not? Um, I'll take one Blaze Cannon. Okay, two. I got the money. Explosive Dojo. No special ability. Okay, I can believe it. Well, I guess that'll be it. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a particularly good deck, but we'll run with it for now. You can say that again, Peter. I would max, but I promised my mom I wouldn't. Uh, what the heck are you talking about? Talking about Lobo, of course. One of the most amazing duels to come through the ranks in years. Um, of course. Fans will remember it's no other than Lobo who defeated Gaijuria Japan some months ago. 
save us all from extinction. And here is our very presence on us, waiting to visit the tournament host for his prize. <laughs> Another fine performance. You really made those cards work for you today. Thanks. Yes. A new personal pocket gizmo. Because we can't call it, you know, a personal computer or something. Persicom is, you know, copyrighted. Use it to for email, to magic cards and text, read dual monsters information, play mini games, and more. Press start to open your pie gizmo and use the control pad to highlight an option. Press the A button to select it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Well, 300 creds, eh? Well, we got a bunch of fire cards, it looks like. Um, let's see. Scarlet Skyterry. Ah, that actually is a pretty cool ability. Some of these will probably be more useful than others. I admit, I'm probably gonna have to, you know, buy a lot of cards for one Ma for this deck. This is something I really like, though. Okay, what we got here? Uh, a lot of light cards. Not what I'm really looking for. Um, the Twister. Living Dead, huh? Yeah. Hmm. You have no creature in the battles, and this creature has Power Attacker plus 4,000, Double Breaker. Hmm. That seems a bit risky. Yeah, you know, I can work with it. It just seems like a rather risky move to bet everything on that one monster. Searing Wave, eh? Put into your graveyard. Ah, that's a high cost, man. Oh, we saw this earlier. And we got babies. <laughs> Chicken, huh? Yes, a picture for our gallery. Well, was definitely need that. Holy cow, I saw it here last match. That was great. Thanks, like it's close, that's for sure. Now you under control the whole time, man. It's about your final match, your opponent really pulled it out in the end. Yeah, no big deal, I had a great time anyway, I learned some stuff, I'm just disappointed that we never got matched up. No, what are the odds, all these tournaments that we still never met in battle. Maybe next time, huh? Hey, I can hear those fans howling for you, I better let you go. Ah, two great Duel Master players in one spot, my will be so happy. But I do find it where people consider Duel Masters to be a rip-off of Yu-Gi-Oh! since it seems to take a lot more inspiration from, you know, um... Magic the Gathering. Um... <laughs> questions for you. First, it's not like you to come in third place in a tournament. What gives? Ouch, Minty. You really call it like it is. Well, to be honest, I was trying out some new ideas using most cards in the new expansion. Guess I'm a little overboard with my theories. Not uh, you, though. You want yet another high-profile tournament. What's your secret? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with this. I'll say, can I give our readers any winning strategy tips? Um, I guess we'll go with that, why not? About your recent misadventures with the notorious Church of Japan? We're in a legend, it was because of you two that this world is not overrun by vicious creatures. Yeah, we'll go with that. Not like I know much about it. We're getting asked a question about a previous event in this game we never played. For all that, I can't believe we've never dueled. Let's try to meet in the battle zone sometime next week. Come to the mall. I hear there's a new shop opening up there. Yeah, now <laughs> that new expansion is out. I need to visit a shop. I want a couple of those new super rares to finish this cool deck I've been building. Yes, next week, right. You can't go anywhere else right now. The game's like, no, 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 you must go to Mr. Draba's shop. Hmm, everyone in the shop was watching and cheering you on. That's cool. Um, new booster packs for you from the tournament. Cards of Ultra Destruction Expansion. Nice. Yeah, it's the least I can do. But only a couple of these cards are from the expansion. I actually, a couple of cards I actually care about. Um, that might be useful. After all, 
Most creatures with total power 8,000 or less in the palace zone. Your puts those creatures into their graveyard. Like, boom. Take out at least one thing. Or three. Well, no. Uh, not so much luck there, huh? Well, whatever. Can't be attacked, huh? I like that. I just wish we had more of them. Hosting a five civilizations tournament. She asked me to ask you to stop by if you get a chance. She guarantees you free admission to the tourney if you promise to sign a few autographs for the fans. Here, I'll mark it on your map. After you leave the shop, you should be able to find your way there. Yeah, buy cards, why not? We got money, we might as well. Well, no. Problem is, you know, there's only so much we can get out of this. But I'm looking for more copies of certain cards, so... Darn. You're gonna have to buy more. And more, you know, that's just how it goes. Maybe I can find some the uh, freaking store I can duel and try and get a feel for the game, though. It's been a long time since I messed around with this, man. Not at this specifically, but with Duel Masters or Kaijuto in general. So I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do when we get around to dueling. Um, yeah, not what I'm looking for. Come on, give me some more of the pollens. I like them, because they're cute. Okay... Man, that's a really common card in this one. Apparently they really want me to use that thing. Um... Jeez. So he has a card at random from his hand. I assume you get to choose it or something, because otherwise it wouldn't really be random. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, not really what I'm looking for. Well, after you cast a spell put into your ma zone instead of your graveyard. Huh. That could come in handy. I might have to move that into the deck. Now to open up more of this stuff. This will probably be the last one, though. We're going to be broke after this. Oh, come on. You have no shields. This creature gets plus 4,000 power as double breaker. Oh, it's really one of those last minute <laughs> attempt to win cards, huh? That's always fun. Missing friend, mystery monsters. There's more to the story than meets the eye. Yeah, don't you just know everything, man? They are, huh? Well, I guess that'll do for this episode. Next time, you know, I guess we'll try and move into more exciting territory, hopefully. But I'd like to get some practice matches in on my own time. We'll see how it goes after that, right? Till next time, then. See ya.